So this is my first proper go on Molly. So we are all both now vaccinated, so we are able to be in the same room. Yes. We're, we're still not breathing on each other, but we're here. <laughs> no hugs, please. <laughs> but we are here. So I've had my proper go. So Diane has been teaching me how to actually load the quilt on. So that took a little while because there's a lot of terminology to have to learn. And some of it I still have no idea. So at the moment, these are still just poles to me, but they, they will become things. So I have learned how to pin the backing fabric onto the riser. Leader. Leader, sorry. See, I still haven't learned it. <laughs> She's going to give me a test on the way home. Yes, yeah. Before I'm Marks out of ten, you'll be getting detention, I reckon. What <laughs> <laughs> time does the tunnel close to get home? Oh, okay. So I've learned, I've learned how to pin the backing onto the leader. So I understand how that works. Then we put the the wadding in place. And then, Onto, yeah, and then the like, plumb line. And then we did Sorry. the plumb line going all the way across. And that gave us a straight line that our piece of work will then line up with. So I understand why we need to do that. So then we've put this piece of fabric, which is very conveniently been given to us by Handy Quilter and it's in lovely little squares which break down the piece of work so it's not too overwhelming. So we lined that up with the plumb line and the piece of work is floating. Have I got that right? Yeah, yeah, we've got it. We've basted it on so that along the top and along the side so that piece of fabric on the top is nice and secure. The backing's all flat, the wadding's flat, so it's basted in place. And how much easier was that basting than sitting on the floor, crouching over with a pile of pins, breaking your back? And spraying yourself. <laughs> yes, or spraying, yeah. So what, what we did then is I had a couple of exercises in my head that I wanted to do. So um, Abigail had been posting some things, so I'm going to let Abigail have a look at this later on. And so what I did is I... Had my little notebook. That's it, so practised in paper. I had done them first on paper and then I had the idea of what I was going to do. But of course, I haven't uh, worked on the fact that I haven't actually held the machine properly. So what I did is Diane set the machine up in cruise control and she set the speed at 350. And I Stitches per inch were 12. Oh, yeah, right? the no, stitches per inch were 12 as well, just because it's stitch regulated, right? which so, is also a great okay. thing. You, you don't get stitch regulation on your domestics. And we quite <laughs> like that stitch, 12, don't yes, we? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We think we've agreed we quite like Gosh, 12. we actually agreed, folks. Yeah. Mark it down in history. <laughs> it's video now, it'd be <laughs> So the first thing we did is we stuck to 350. So I've marked my 350 on here as my reference because I want to be able to look at this and see well what how did it did I like that effect what happened so I was working just within this little area first and these were supposed to be just big loops and little loops big loops little loops and then back the other side but what I found is they're quite square I don't know what you call a square loop it's not well, I don't know it's supposed to got a word is it it's just a scrounged a <laughs> scrooned. <laughs> Sorry, my sense so, of humour does improve. Well, mm. so, so so that and it was the feeling of the machine. It felt as if I was, you know, st not quite stopping starting, but it's it so, as if right. it's almost resisting you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So when then, you first start, yeah. So then I decided I will try some stipples. So that's just free motioning without overlapping. And again, they were quite pointy, a bit squarey, which might work in some pieces of work, but it wasn't the effect I was looking for. And then I decided I'll do some loops. So this is all still at the same speed. Now, the loops were slightly better, but it was still squarish. That's, I don't know if that's even the right word. Um, but the, the tension was OK and the stitch length of that, but it yeah. was the shape. I was, so I was trying to do a small loop and then echo the loop. And it was like a loop within a box. So that wasn't right. So then what I did... Looks like a kennel, that one. It does look like a we'll kennel. We'll call that one a kennel. Yeah. It's the kennel design, kennel. that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're creating new designs, Laurel. Go it's for it. Kennel design. And then I wanted to try doing some 
uh, lines so you're traveling but turn it into a leaf some work better in fact that one i quite like that one that's worked that's a nice yeah one. that's nice and it comes from oh it's hard with the camera it comes from that quite bent thing as well so it looks yeah. more natural yeah so i quite like and i think that was that was a good tip that i watched yesterday of how to travel to different areas using these leaves but then we went back to squarish and i don't think in nature there's very many squares so it was another little play with loops and it was getting a bit better so then we increased the speed so we've gone from 350 to 650 across here and just play with the loops didn't set the alarm off that was going too fast and it definitely worked better it was more curvy it was easier to do smaller loops a bit of um, meandering there the feathers leaf things didn't work very well that was that was really out so then i realized i was still setting off the the buzzer to say you're, you're moving too quickly so moved it up to 750 um i don't really know what that whether that's like a, i don't know i don't know what that refers to but anyway it is stops the machine beeping stops the machine <laughs> see it. she's a speed girl this yeah. one she's not you we all know laurel she's not a slow calm person she's a speed girl go get her she's a go getter yeah, when i'm working with the rulers that's the whole thing i say is yeah. look how much slower it is yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't believe, don't believe a word I yeah gonna that. say do as I say, not do as no, I do. Mm. So I then did 750. And what I've noticed is the pieces have become smaller. So the stitching is, is closer together, which yeah. I'm yeah, not funny, sure that's yeah. what I want, that effect. But, you know, that's... I've least have noticed it. But the loops, the curves are definitely more circular. So they're working. The meandering was easier... Uh, and I, I don't know any spirals on, on that one but I think the effect is better it's, and maybe it's just I'm getting used to the feel of the machine it seemed to flow better Tish, your brain and your body are getting used to it aren't they yeah. so that's yeah. where the flow happens yeah. the magic happens so then I went up to 850 so See, we're still on 850 she's breaking all the speed limits <laughs> First time out. <laughs> so, down set the challenge, do some diagonal lines. Yeah, because I find them quite tricky. Yeah, so they're... Without rulers. So, the ones at the bottom are still at 750, and they're definitely not straight. Now, I drew the lines in first, so I'd have something to draw. Awful. Absolutely awful. If it mattered. Then, I had drawn myself some lines here that were supposed to be loops. Still not great. Um, spirals weren't weren't wonderful so then i went up to 850 and this section up there is on the 850 I, that's a bit straight because i've run out of space there and that definitely was easier and then this just worked better and i think the sizing of this was better the hearts didn't work quite so quite so well but i've gone away from this which would worry me that it would be a bit too concentrated that's not how i really like to quilt yeah it's like quite it. It intense yeah. isn't it yeah yeah it would work in some areas possibly but i i don't want to get stuck where it's too tight so i think that but that's fabulous though laura that you've this is less than less than an hour's work mm -hmm. and already laurel's realizing the impact of her movements and mm. noticing that's the thing sometimes just noticing what's happening yeah and just doing something like this just by going yeah. through your project you realize and can yeah. work out what you want and what don't yeah. want but i think something that it works for me is to make the notes on the piece so this is obviously just a practice piece to see the difference when i'm at that speed to this speed to this speed to this speed that there is a definite overall effect i mean that that could work if that's yeah. the effect I wanted. But I can see the difference. Yes, yeah, so if you were doing like that one mm. over and over, as long as, like you say, if they're the same, that's mm. the thing. Mm. It doesn't matter, does it? No, no. So that, that was, it's been interesting um, just having a go. So there's, n there's no rulers on today's practice. 
no <laughs> that's on another video <laughs> not today maybe yeah, need to sit down on a lighter <laughs> no but on serious note laurel how have you felt using it that's the thing you know if somebody first yeah. comes on to molly mm. like you say they will um maybe start off with doing square it does it's all a matter of getting used to isn't it yeah. but did yeah. you feel overwhelmed at all or no, because I've been watching lots of things. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching you doing it. So, But then it's different, isn't it? It's different to doing it on a piece of paper yeah. to actually getting hold of it. It's also the whole thought of, because I've done a bit of ruler work the other day, and I thought, I need to not do this because this is going to feel completely different. So I don't want to be trying to move my fabric when this is what I'm doing. This is what you'll yeah. be going to, I'd, yeah. I've watched a video where someone said not to grip so I was very. Much... I did notice that that you were had you yeah. just guiding it yeah. along, not yeah. dragging it. So yeah, I was you know trying to relax that grip, and it's better for your shoulders yeah, as well. And you, the yeah, shoulders down. I think the the you know deciding on what the settings will be will just happen. Yes, that then, will come yeah. with practice as but well, the, the and we will help you with that when you come and have a go. Yeah. That will be set for you at first, yeah. and we'll help you make the adjustments. Yeah. But I think for people who are going to come and have. A, a lesson so we're, we're yeah. aiming that it will be a two hour lesson well within one hour yeah you know, just by yeah. to do it yeah just pretty much by myself yeah and changing the speeds but when you come for a lesson we will be able to say you might find this easier try this and these are the exercises yep. um maybe we will do it on paper first and then you know we work but having something with a grid that was definitely easy yeah. rather than being overwhelmed thinking, oh, I've got to fill that whole quilt that, you know, and I'm not going from all the way. So again. you can see the phone yeah. nodding, you see, because that's me nodding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, I, I don't feel, I don't feel anxious about it. And yes, you do have to get a feel, but think about when you get a new car, it's getting the clutch control right, yeah. isn't it? That Each car time. is quite different. Yeah. yeah. So now I think... Uh, and I didn't break any needles. No. So I got it. Um, <laughs> Cracking. Brilliant. So, yeah. Thank you. Have a go.